there we are. Now, I'm not sure how long we're going to have here, so we'll enjoy them while we can. And I was told today by Tristan that the there were three females. Oh, it's the sticks cubs, of course, sorry. It was the two females and three males. Nena, Mfumo, and Tinyo. And the sort of model-esque figure that is in Suku has been missing. And apparently there was a third lioness. Yes, that's... Is that right? Should there have been a third lioness? Yes, there are three in the sticks pride. Go ahead. Sorry, go again. Sorry, I'm just going on the radio. Okay, copy that. Um, I did call in. Sorry, I obviously it didn't transmit. Uh, if you need me to leave, just let me know. They're looking so much better, aren't they? Remember the last time I saw them, it was very hot. And <laughs> it, when was it? It was hot and on Leadwood Drive, and they looked dreadful. They looked manky. They didn't look like they were going to survive. And now look at them, fat-bellied. Oh, and look, well, the best part of that view is that it seems that the mange has disappeared from them which is good news. There are, I mean, I, you know, it's just so long that, since I've seen the Styx Pride, so I'm not entirely sure. How old are these cubs now? They must be uh, probably about three months. No, they must be more. They must be about four months old, actually. They're very tired, obviously. They ate something delicious during the course of the night. And the three males I haven't seen for goodness knows how long. And I wonder where the other male typically has gone off with the female. And I suspect, David, they were looking for some privacy. Well hoping to make some more lions for the Styx Pride. And quite possibly headed off towards whatever carcass there was. Now there's one more Walsha in the trees. Well, it's not even a Walsha, David. That's quite an interesting bird. What is that? It is a vulture. It is a hooded vulture in the tree there. He, of course, has the worst job in the world. He has the worst diet of any animal I've ever seen in my life. His diet consists of lion scat. Can you imagine a fate worse than that? Imagine being born and told that your diet was going to be lion scat. And I think you've hit on a wonderful idea. I'm going to donate the birds I see to various members of the bird extravaganza going on here. So I think we'll give this first bird, the hooded vulture. I think because it's smaller, we'll give that one to Taylor. And I think we'll give Tristan the white-backed vulture. Okay? Good idea, Anne. Now, of course, I have to try and be fair, because otherwise I'll be in a deep amount of trouble. Now, if we go uh, the f little cub on the flat end, there we go, the flat end, I don't know what that meant, but you know, that you understood. There is that mange there, or the remnants of it, on the skin, but it seems to be fine. Seems to be no problem at all. really been through a tough time these chaps remember talk to us hashtag safari live you can send us your questions and comments you may even send us your demands which we may or may not adhere to uh, send them in the form of a request though they've got much more chance of having them acceded to then 
And we'll try and find those jackals a little bit later, and I think we'll also probably try and see if we can't find some shadow tracks. But, you know, shadow being a shadow, she's not easy to find. Now, I'm quite interested in where the Birmingham boy that I haven't seen for so long is. That's Nsuku. He, who looks so very like a model. I'm not sure who that is there. I think that's probably Nena. It is. How do you know that, David? Ah, he's got the mohawk. Good. What I look for in him is... No, who do, who's got the notch out of his ear? It's Tinio. There. Oh, right, in his right ear, I think. Anyway, Tinio's easy to see. So is Mfumo, on account of the fact that he has a hole in his head that has, well, it's kind of healed over, but it'll leave a big scar. And interestingly, again, Mfumo seems to be off mating, and the, I think he unusually is the most dominant of this group. Now we do have a little bit of time here, but we will have to move when the Arethusa vehicles get here. Well, RC in Netherlands, I mean, you say, how will the, how will the sticks or the Nkuhumas react to the smell of the sticks pride on the Birmingham boys. Well, RC, how does a wife react when her husband arrives home smelling of another woman? You know, I mean, it's a dire situation. I think divorce lawyers will be called in. There'll be fighting and slapping and general upheaval. Um, RC, I actually don't know. I think you'll I mean, I would imagine that they probably could smell them, wouldn't you say? I mean, if these Birmingham boys were to fraternize with the Styx cubs and the pride for, you know, any length of time and then see the Inkuhumas fairly soon thereafter, then yeah, I guess you would expect them to be able to smell it. And how would they react? I don't think they react at all. I don't know, other than to perhaps pick up the smell and maybe keep their distance a little bit from the Birmingham boys for the brief time that it takes for that scent to sort of go away until they're sure that the other lionesses aren't around? That's actually a really interesting question. And I'm, I'm pretty sure they must be able to tell that these chaps have been, well, philandering away from home. But of course, these lions quite enjoy it. The lionesses, sorry, quite enjoy it when the males philander away from home because it means they don't have to feed them. And I really think that uh, the number of times I've watched lionesses kill something and then hear males calling in the background and they do, you know, the males call in the background and the lionesses specifically don't call back. Um, I think it indicates that they're not necessarily always that keen to be around the males. Right, Taylor is into the bird challenge. She's got three birds of the same species and they look like they've got an injury to the patella.